Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm gonna paint something that I drew while I was working at the art gallery. I've never done mushrooms and isn't that fun? Um, my daughter who helps, helps me with the live stream said it's my gnomies, my gnomes that I have drawn. It's their home, isn't that fun? And at nighttime, I made a traceable. It's on my website, annietro.com. The, it's five by seven. You could scale it up to an eight by 10 easily. I'm going to paint it on a five by seven cradled wood panel that I've got clear gesso on. Okay, guys, let's have some fun. Let's set the table. This background took me an hour and a half <laughs> because I'm using a little brush, a number four round from Royal and Langnickel. And I, this is like a quarter inch craft brush. I, I don't know where I got it quite a while ago. And it just takes time to go because I want, I'm going to want my reds to be warmer. So I decided to paint around. Uh, the traceable that I put on here. I think this is going to be blues, kind of moon like moonlight on the ground. But I just wanted to, I wanted to pop in and let you know that it's gone kind of slow. And then my colors are some of my typical colors if you follow me. Uh, Thalo blue green shade. It's the only heavy body, and they're all Liquitex. Cad yellow medium hue. Quinacridone magenta, Mars black, and titanium white. Okay, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. Hey friends, I wanted to pop in and let you know this next part is going to be a live stream. I'll, excuse me, I'll download it and time lapse it. I'm gonna work on this house during the live stream. So if you wanna see me paint in real time, just check out the link in this video's description and hop over there. Um, other than that, I'll be back after the live stream. Hey, I want to pop in. That last time lapse bit was the live. I worked on this mushroom and that's all I got done. <laughs> Hour and a half. Of course, I was chatting, 
but maybe an hour, hour 15 to paint it if I was just painting it on my own. I'm going slow, layers, lots of little details, small brush, so that makes it go slower. Okay guys, I just wanted to let you know where we are. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, isn't this adorable? It's just adorable. I love it. Okay, a couple of comments. I use, let's see. These spots are gray, these spots are white, so you get a little bit of a turn and shadow. These are all white except for I, I painted brown over. I painted some color during the live stream, and that link is in this video's description where I painted this house. Um, but I fixed it. This is a couple days later. This one took me a long time. Just because I'm painting it smooth, I'm painting layers to get uh, better color depth. Um, and there's just, I think it'd be easier, I think I said this already, it'd be easier 8x10 because I've got a lot of little details I'm painting. I um, took the end of my brush, any little round brush will do. This is a number four from Princeton. And I mixed a limey green, a light yellow, yellow and white, and a light blue. Actually, that's light blue, phthalo blue green shade. And just put in a couple big blue dots, a couple green, a few yellow. And then I took my background color, which is kind of a muted uh, blue green color, and added white to it, and then really thinned it out. I mean, it is watery. And I use this craft brush because it's a little thinner, a little longer, and a little wigglier. I've used this quite a bit for, if you follow me, for splattering snow. It's quite, there's a lot of water in there. And then you can see it doesn't, maybe you can't see. You can see that it doesn't get grainy or anything. That's one thing really nice about Liquitex is that it really holds together even when you put a lot of water in it. And then I splattered little splatters of that color all over and I it could be overthinking it but I did that because I want the white dots of the mushrooms to be the strongest the same reason why I didn't leave these stepping stones the color of the wood or white because this house is my even though it's all the way down here it's my star of the show this one's sort of a supporting actor and then the moon is kind of what I'm thinking. But everything keeps you, like this leans in, this comes in. This one does lean out, the little snail. I got a, I might fix that. I got a little teeny, teeny blob on there. I think, I don't know if it's from the paint or like it splattered underneath. Kind of touch it up. We should do a tour. I splattered the sides and I dried it with a hair dryer too. Oh, I covered it, co covered parts I didn't want to get splatters on, splatters on <laughs> with some artist tape. Okay, here. Here, there's the trace built on my website. So I did splatter the top and the sides. I did splatter a little on the bottom, just in case somebody looks. That actually looks like a star constellation or something because there's less splatters. Okay, let's do a screen shot. Let's see how close I can get it. That's pretty good. I like that there's a smattering of gnome dust, fairy dust. Um, Emily calls this my, no I have gnomies. Um, you can see them on my print store. The link's in this video's description. So this is the home for my gnomies. Oh, Emily's favorite daughter. She helps me with the live streams in case. Here, we'll do a little. I just love all those little splatters.
I think that's fun. Let me know if you give this one a try. Okay, guys, I can't thank you enough for your support. I, I just wish I had stronger words than thank you. I super appreciate it. Really fun to hang out with you. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.